What's going on everyone, I'm Devin with True Devin Gaming. Today we're doing another Balloon Sad Event 6 video. Uh, today's video, we're going to be attempting the Curd Odyssey event, which is slow down there. These balloons are feeling rather speedy. Guess we better stop them in their tracks. I'm assuming that means the balloons will have uh, increased speed. Uh, we're going to be doing this on hard difficulty like usual. Uh, just checking the rewards, we get 400 monkey money. A 240 Ice Monkey Instant Monkey, honestly not a bad one, and 50 trophies. Like usual, I'm in need of more trophies, so uh, that's good to have. Uh, let's check out the islands. So first off, we have Alpine Run Hard Difficulty, just around 65, that shouldn't be too difficult. The speed increase is 120%, so that's only a 20% increase, so not not much. Next one, four circles, hard difficulty standard. Round 70, same speed increase. Not gonna be difficult. In my eyes at least. Then we have cards and darts, half cash. Now that's gonna be a bit of a pain. I am very tempted to just pass on Instant Monkey to ignore all the half cash stuff with it. But you do start off with 1600, so I could literally start off with a farm. Set. Uh, the balloon speed and, and mob speed is increased just the same as before and it's around 60. So far this is set to be the hardest map. Next one, firing range, hard difficulty apocalypse. Apocalypse? Apocalypse. Yeah, there we go. Apocalypse. Uh, that usually runs around 60. Uh, this one runs around 70. Uh, I'm going to need some AoE and some stalling for this, without a doubt. And then, workshop, hard difficulty standard to round 75. Again, the same speed increase. Okay. This one, I feel like I'm going to bullshit my way through, in all honesty. I'm tempted to use an instant monkey for three of these. Because Apocalypse is annoying. Half cash is extremely extremely annoying and I just want to skip the difficulty of it and then we have workshop which it's not the difficulty here it's literally just the map itself with the speed increase they're going to go across this very quickly and then the Moab's going this small distance this is going to be really annoying Let's see elite on chat says they had to use continues on this odyssey that is not speaking good things to me Yep. If we have to use instant monkeys, we will. Okay, let's uh, clear everything and let's start this up with seeing what hero should we start off with. Uh, we have Striker Jones, Pat Futzi, and Oban Greenfoot. Let's see, Oban Greenfoot would be best for us when it comes to the half cash game mode. Uh, Striker Jones would probably be the best for us. When it comes to the uh, apocalypse, apocalypse game mode, and then Pathfinder would be the best one for us when it comes to uh, the workshop map. Ah, oh, so this one's this one's gonna be. Which one do we feel like is gonna be most annoying? I'll take Pathfinder. I I'm worried more about the apocalypse maps than anything else. Because even with the instant monkey, it will be difficult. Let's see, the towers are allowed. We have three uh, primary monkeys, three military, three magic, and three support. We have no farms. We have... Huh. We have no farms available for us while we have to do an imp uh, half cash. This is... It's going to be a bit of a pain. Yep, actually I'll skip and go to the powers first. Let's do a usual thing. Max out in cash shops. Uh, in super monkey stores. And the time stopping one. I don't... Wait, let's see, do we have any... We don't have any boats or subs, so we have no need for a pool. I feel like we've got four of these. And four of these. And out of left. Or it could be those. 
think this adds up well enough. We don't need any pools, we don't need any pontoons. Yeah, that should work. Now let's actually set up the monkeys. Okay, let's see. In chat, Sarah says, I'm not going to lie, I watched a video for the last two maps on this one. Good to know. And Elite said, I just brute forced it was continued. Yeah, that's going to get, that's going to be a bit worried for this. Uh, first off, all three of these primary seems like they'd be important for slowing down Bloom, so I'll just get all three of them down. Uh, sniper, this is top path only for Sniper, which honestly I'm fine with. Uh, and then we have Elpilot. You are useful, but I'm probably not going to use you. We're going to need sp Spike Factories. I'm going to grab two right now. I will probably remove one of them and go with this one. We have a druid, we have a super monkey. I will ignore the ninja, I don't feel like we need that. We have village and edge, yeah. So those are the ones that I'm ignoring these two. The mortar monkey and the ninja. It's giving me 10 seats, but I need 9 more of these monkeys. I cannot get more hell pilots and I can't get more... Bike factory, so those are good. Can't get more of the villages. Let's see. I can, I can only go bottom path for the well boomer monkey, which that is fine. That's a Moab press one. Well, actually, the one that pushes back Moab, so that's gonna be good. I'll grab two of you, two of you, and two of you. Why not? We'll go with two of all those. Snipers, let's just grab two of those. This is only top path druids. So that means I'm gonna need... Ah, this... This is set up oddly. I'll just grab two of you, two of you. Now I have all these filled up except for these four. I need one more. Honestly, I feel like I need one less super monkey so I can take get two of these. I don't think I need another blue gunner. Uh, let's get another boomerang and another ice. And now, thinking about it for a second, is there anything else else I would want to switch out? I want technically to get another sniper, but I don't know what I would want to switch out for. Yeah, I'll remove one glue gunner so I can get one more sniper. Because the one glue gun I'm going to go for is going to be a 0 to 3, maybe 0 to 4. Just a glue gunner that is preventing the balloons from going forward. So I don't need multiples there. And if I'm not doing that, I'm going for the top path one to kill them fast. Uh, a 4 to 0. And he's like, I'm not going to have both glue gunners. I'm going to only have one at a time. So that's what I'll go with. He is my crew. I'm not sure if it's good yet. We'll find out. See. So it says a 024 heli was useful for you. And a 402 ninja. Yeah, I can understand those both. Let's start with Island 1. Again, Islands 1 and 2, they look like they're going to be extremely easy, so let's just get them started immediately. Let's get Pat Putsy down here. And let's get a glue gunner right next to it. Try to target strong. Yep. It should be fine. Now beating this to round 65, this should be no issue.
There we go. Don't have a druid here. So it's going to be top path. It will be a 402. Uh, yeah. Bottom pass supports top pass the best. Let's see, this should cover all the lead and give some good popping power, but I'm going to need some camo detection here. I could, I could give camo detection using the village. I'm not sure if I want that. So how about this? A camo detection will come from a ice monkey and a helipilot this time. I feel like that's is a good idea. Also, this one would be a top at the 420 this time. Let's get Ice Monkey here. I'm going to go for a 204 for this Ice Monkey. Once I get Cloud Cannon, its range will be able to actually reach a good portion of this. It will no longer have AoE effect, but it will still target directly in the front. For some reason, I still don't get... I can't target the Ice Monkey towards Camo when I have Camo Detection. Just a random thing I want to mention. Let's get down the Hello Pilot. Ice Monkey is able to deal with the camera by itself. There you go, now we have Pursuit. Oh, this guy will not be able to pop camel lead, it just knows you can't go with speed 2-0. Anyway, yeah, this one will still be a 2-2-0. There we go, and it's camel popping power now. So we can get camel lead, or camel anything except uh, uh, the white or the zebra balloons. But this guy can pop any uh, camel white or camel zebra, so that's fine. These two guys I should handle it. At least for a good portion. There we go, Cryo Cannon gives it a huge range. Well, not very huge, but Huge range for Ice Monkey. Let's see, next thing I want, I'll just put a slight back at the back. You can go any of these pathing, but I'm thinking a 420 this time. Hello Choppy Plays, how are you doing today? Hello to anyone watching, this is a this is a recorded live stream if you're watching on YouTube. Uh yeah, so there's people that are watching live instead. You can see me saying hello to people in chat often. So yeah, Choppy, how are you doing today? Good to hear you're doing good. We're currently doing the Odyssey and Right now I'm on one of the two easy maps. The other three 
Looks like they all have their own set of challenges to it. That's gonna make it a bit difficult. Okay, I'm doing good. I'm doing nice and well right now. Let's get icicles. And blue dissolve them. Yeah, let's get blue spider. Let's see. You have to redo high finance chimps. Rip for you. Good luck with that. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna end up doing that, but not by now. That's for sure. Hopefully, I won't have to redo it. I'll just do it in one. Uh -huh. There you go. Blue and liquid. Let's stop with the blue gunner for now. Let's stop with the ice monkey for now. I don't feel like we need to increase that. Let's get our druid up to tier four now. Jock says you can't redo it if you can't do it in the first place. I don't know if that's how it works. Ball lightning, so we have another tier 4 down. Time to get like mine, which might end up just being our last tier 4. I don't know if we really need any more tower sound. A tower detection isn't too strong until it reaches the end, then it's just overpowering. I really need to switch out these pineapples. I don't really care for the look of it. Good riddance. I like the spike ball and spike mines a bit better. Especially once we get the upgrade to them looking like grilled pineapples. And then the next one where they're just red pineapples. They don't look good like that in my opinion. Normal pineapples are okay. The grilled pineapples they don't look good. Up to around 56 out of 65. So we're nearly done. Just a little bit less than 10 rounds now. I'm not going to place any more towers. I'll just save up and see if I can upgrade any of these towers to a tier 5. Oh, I would not be able to upgrade you or you to a tier 5 south up. It'll be one of these two. This one I'm not even upgrading to tier 3. But either be blue gunner or ice cone pale. We'll see. Don't be scared. There's a BFP. Ah, uh, yeah. It's getting doubtless. Uh, didn't feel like using Path Proxy's ability for it, since it wasn't really needed. The most troubling round we're gonna have to fight is 63. And in honesty, our setup is set up so that we will not have any worry. Good 63 will just have a hand up. Will not touch the keyboard or mouse. We'll just trust in our defenses. It didn't even get actually to the tour. They nearly did, the god was in the druid's range, but not up to the druid yet, so... Okay, it got up to the druid at the very end. But that's still only the halfway point. And here's the last round. It 
Are we going to be able to get a tier 5? I honestly don't think so. It's over 4,000 more. This will have to be a very long round for that. That's dead. Of course they can't get by this. Okay, there we go. Island 1 complete. Time to head to Island 2. Uh, this one should also be very easy. Uh, let's see, once again, it's, it's just around 70 this time, so 5 more rounds extra. We're gonna start off with Pat Futsy. And a glue gunner. This time I think I'll go for a 0-2-3 glue gunner. I do not want to go for a spike factory because if we're placing at the end it will take way too long. So long back. I think I want to pop them somewhat earlier. Let's get a boomerang here. And this boomerang, we're going to be going for a 024. The reason for 024? Oh, first off, it's. That's the only path we can go past here, sorry. It's bottom path. But the main point of it is to push back Moabs, and the more the faster we throw them, the more consistent we can push back the Moabs. So, point is to just hold the popping power here, essentially. So I might actually go for a Super Monkey right here as well, just so we can push, have everything holding the Moabs in here to receive the popping power of the Super Monkey. That might be the goal here. There we go, we have a village town, and then with the village we're going to have a super monkey in here. I'm thinking to go uh, 4 0 2 because I'm going to have a bunch of farming monkeys within range. And I want to actually get a discount on all the upgrades. Again, I don't think we have to worry too much about our camera detection. We will soon, but... Now it's a second. This time I'm going for a 402 for the ice monkey. Yeah. And now next goal is Super Monkey. Why did I I did that wrong? There you go, that's better. The elite saying they're trying to think of a good late gain option for high finance. I would suggest probably 
top path, Buccaneer, bottom path, uh, what do you want to call it? Boat. And we definitely need to get a camera detection up soon. Which is a point for the super monkey. Let's see, dots and dots and hello. Just download the BT6 battles and battle suit. Well, hello, Dustin, how are you doing today? And. Honestly, I don't know enough about BT battles and BT battles 2. I believe they're supposed to be good games. There you go, got knockback. I'm sure if Ultra Vision were good for popping power against the uh, camels for a while. Until around 59, I believe. The Elite says battles to slowly bleeding players. Is there a particular reason why it is? Let's get the big one. Get okay, we killed the Moab within this range. That's the goal for the entire game is to prevent the Moab from getting past this. All the balloons can get by, but the Moab you want to stop here. Oh yeah, so Ice Monkey, I'm going in Brittleman, 402. Because this can remove the camel copy. If I boost this to primary, that increases the range of this one even more. See, the, the range, PS, and projectile speed. So that's all good stuff. Now, we also have this one. Makes us get tier 1 upgrade for free and increases the range and reduces the ability cooldown. So, just more range for this one essentially. The Choppy says they hate the battle game. He says there is no unique concept. And he says, late game option I went for is middle path boat. Oh. Well, I'll say, in the recent updates, it did buff the middle path boat. I don't think it was buffed enough for it to be. It's, I think, it's being oversold and overhyped right now. It is very good. But not as good as what people are saying. Okay, right now we have a very condensed section of popping power. We have this one target strong, this one target strong, go through a lifeless group. Let's have you target strong as well. And time for us to upgrade this to be a 203. Leak says once they beep, uh, high finance late game chimps, uh, they're gonna give me a I told you so message. I hope you do. There you go, Dark Knight, now to do top path. We have plasma vests as well. Ah, see, this is a very good one comes to popping power right now. Should I get main Moab? I feel like it's a bit extra right now. If I go for that. Instead of that.
gets destroyed. And immediately go for the 302, heading toward the 402. So that will just help us with the round 63. Also sending back balloons if they get past here. They didn't even get past here. That's that's awesome. Good riddance. Let me get another one. Let's see, elite says. Okay, I guess I won't receive an I told you so message. Uh, rip to and leak. There you go, that's a ball of lightning. Which I still don't get why it's ball of lightning and not ball of lightning. So you bought the boat too early, needed to get main love first. Sounds about right. We're in round 68 of 70, and we've been preventing the balloons from even moving forward at all. I guess I'll grab main Moab as well, just because you said that. This is a very dense uh, section just popping out. I like it like that. That's Island 2 complete. We got 44 monkey money for it. Well, that was easy. Let's head to Island 3, which is going to be the first one that really poses a challenge. He has half cash. First thing first. Bad Futsy. Target strong. And glue gunner with it, of course. Target strong. Ah, uh, now what do I do? Do I try this legit or do I use some of the powers or into monkeys. It's only to round 60, so I think I can try this legit. I'm gonna have to be a bit more strict with my purchases right now. Every purchase I make has to have a very good reason for it. Hatfutsy always has good reason. It actually is worth more. Every hero is pretty much able to become way more worth what they are fought for. Oh, more than that they are fought for. I'm thinking I go save to the helicopter. Or a helipad. Those reach the road spike. Great. Maybe I should go for a spike factor to back then. Yes. Yes. Uh, we're nearly up to the point of using our helipod. We're getting our helipod or a spike factory. 
we are getting very close to running out of road spikes at the back. Careful now. We lost one of our mana shield, but we haven't lost an actual life yet. That's going to lose a few more, but we should be able to get up high soon. Careful now. There goes more of mana shield, but save up for Hellpot. Where's the dead? Place on intersection until we can get pursuit. When we go pursuit, then we get camera protection. Actually, considering, should we get camera protection first? This is half cash. We need to make sure we prioritize what we need most. Yeah, let's get let's get camera protection first. IFR is 650, it'll give us care protection, and then we don't have to worry about 60 or 24. So we have first level care protection, but it will not be able to help us with uh, round 59 right now. So that's camera lens. That's way ahead of us. We don't have to think about that right now. From the look of it, I would not have gotten hero detection if I went quad dots first. So a good thing we went uh, quad dots second. Actually, yeah. you have more or oh, you have uh, lead popping power, so let's target you to show him now. There's quad dots. That increase our popping power. We need to get Pursuit. And then after Pursuit, we get down the Spike Factory. There we go. We have Pursuit, so we have Kale Pop Out and just General Pop Out that will follow the round. We have Lead Pop Out here. We have just a slight slowdown. I don't know if it's worth us to actually upgrade the glue gunner yet. There we go with the Spike Factory. Spike Factory, once again, I think the best idea for it would be a forward 2 0 if we can afford that. But immediately we go. Uh, zero two zero and then two two zero, and then upgrade it from there. There you go. What's the zero two zero? Uh, we have a Moab coming in three rounds, and this popping power that we have right now does not seem like it's enough. I would usually want to have a 3 2 0, or at least a tier 3 at the back. Right now, we don't have anything up to tier 3. It's a bit worrying. Okay, help her, please pop it. 
Okay, that did. The helicopter did manage to. Or the helipilot did manage to be Moab almost entirely on its own. It did good. We immediately need to get spike balls. We want to survive. There we go. Balloons are getting back to the spike factory. I don't like seeing that, but it's what we expect, I guess. Would it be worth it to go for a downdraft? The downdraft would hold back a bunch of these balloons and give our spike factory more than enough time. Yeah, 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 let's just get it. Anything that lets the spike factory build up uh, more. Of course, the spike, uh, the downdraft does have a limit. As long as that limit is reached later on, and the spike factory can build up enough in time, then we're good. I am not actually worried now. Oh no. We go farm. Please do not be go farming. Okay, we didn't we did not we go farm. But that gave me the warning for that. We're getting down the druid and we're going middle path. Just to use the Heart of Thunder to hit everything and Heart of Oak will remove everything that got hit. To remove all the Rico copies. That's a that's the reason for that. I'm still worried about the BFB, but everything else I'm not too worried about at this point. We are low on more popping power. That's about it. Camel Lead's coming in on round 59. I don't know if we'll be able to afford Spike Mine by then. Should we try to buy something else? Actually, never mind. We'll get, we'll get Spike Mine by then. I believe it. Oh my. Okay, we had 5,600 that we could have spent on stuff there. And we didn't. So that's on us. We're being too greedy and holding back on actually placing down stuff. So I'm going to press continue. Can't afford to spike mines yet. We go for. 
What is a good idea to deal with that? You know, this might work. Let's get deconstruction just because we're gonna want more about palaces. Century expert. There we go. And of course the cameras, I didn't realize that. Careful now. And we're gonna lose to them again because I didn't realize those were camos. That killed us. Now that I know they were camos. Let's get camel popping power instead. Seriously. <sighs> Can I earn 200 in time? No, I cannot. I'm just going to use a cash drop this time. Ah, that's annoying me. I had to use two continues because I wasn't paying it. First one because I was greedy with money. I could have gotten it if I put down more. And second time because I didn't realize what killed us was camos. Yeah. Try to pay more attention to the game. Of course, this is a hash dash one. This was one of the two ones that I was questioning was the user into monkey for. Actually, three. Three of them I am questioning using into monkey for. There you go, there's 60. Literally we had one fuck up there. One fuck up, and we did the fuck up twice. Ah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna press. We got 88 monkey money as return for that. So we'd, we use 600 there. 300 twice for continues. And then a cash shop. So we have to earn all that back through this. Let's get to Island City, which is Apocalypse. For Apocalypse, that means that once the game starts, it's it's going. What is my aim for this? Pat Putty will not be that much of a help this time. Since I've used the power, a cash job, I plan on, I don't have to worry about not using those anymore. I might as well continue using them at this point. And I use continue, so I don't, I don't want to keep on using continue, so I'd rather use powers. From what I can guess, the most important tower I'm going to be using would be AoE once. To use middle snipers, we're not allowed middle snipers from what I understand. Uh, ninjas and helipilots. And prayer. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking right now, my goal is to get two uh, druids. Uh, four two zeros, not four zero twos. Like, four zero two is a better path. I want to remove any Rego possibility with that. So four two zeros, and just have them so that they can continuously push the balloons back. Uh, at least that's a good idea. Uh, as far as the helipilot, I'll probably station that in the middle of the uh, track at top, and have it be a zero two three this time, so it can push back to my webs. 
and have it locked in place. Oh, by mid sight you meant... Oh, shrapnel shot. Okay. Yes, this would be useful as well. Uh, let's just get this thought. I'm gonna be immediately Can you put you here? No, I cannot. You saw if it was a cash shop too immediately saw for something powerful. But I'm not going about this. Again, Pafotzi is not needed for this one. Yeah. As far as Intimal Key, I was planning to use an Intimal Key. Let's go. Where is a 0 2 2? Okay, I don't have a 0 2 2. This one is the correct path and pull one. So go with this. So we can go for camera detection for you and give discounts to the other towels I'll be placing. Just grab one more cash up just to get the chaos detection now. There you go, camo and hot bow. Now we don't have to worry about these rows. What we do have to worry about though is the uh we're gonna call it. What is it called? Purple blooms. We have to worry about purples. We're gonna go get the helipilot down first, then I'll probably go with snipers after it. I think that Campfitter's... Campfitter Engineer on either of the planks of wood. They look like they're the right size to fit there. For some reason, cannot fit them. You're gonna be locked in place right here for the entire game. I don't need to give you camo detection, and I'm not going to have you moving, so bigger jets is not exactly needed. So I'll go with a uh, 103 for you. Okay. Fast firing, even faster firing. At least that's what's called, right? The yeah, faster dots and faster firing is what I did. And let's get quad dots as well. I'm going to make use of the discount this is providing without a doubt. The discount account section I'm going to make use of completely. Boomerangs in these spots. No, we cannot. Ice monkeys. Yes, we can. Let's put boomerangs in the same spot. Oh, yep. Ice monkey is smaller than boomerang. We're going to convert that. Okay, that's good to know. Snipers I'm placing within range of this. No doubt in my mind there.
We're very close to getting mob shop. And that should make 40 easy enough. Or rather, the first mob easy enough. Also, that gives a uh, missile attack. So now you can pop leads as well. I don't think I'm going to go mid snipers. At least not yet. I feel like I need to get this one all the way up to main Moab. We already got the one that removes the ego property, so this one will remove, or we'll just reach farther and kill them better. Super monkey folks in there. I don't think so. Okay. No. Ah, the super monkey's gonna have poor range. I should try and get ball lightning as well. Choppy, how are you doing? You say Pat is completely useless in this map? Yep, I'm not even placing Pat Putsy down in this one. There we go, we have two ball lightnings. We're gonna get a uh what's it called? Uh tier four one sniper. Main mower. We're gonna get that next. And then I think our next goal will be What will it be? There you go, with a deadly position. And main Moab. Now, main, the Moabs are not our worry. Spike Storm, that'll help. I'll go for two Spike Storms here. They will help us go. See, so Elite says, going to try, most likely fail at redoing Peninsula Chips. 
do we feel like doing are we doing high finance right now? Understandable. I'm gonna get down blue guy at this point. Okay, got two spike swords ready to use whenever. It's two spike swords. This stuff gonna be enough. It doesn't seem like I need to use these as spike stone for like a second. Never mind. Oh, we lost lives there. We lost lives there. A large amount of that. See, first of all, then until you have a better idea for baking cows now. I'm very much worried about this game now because down to nine lives is not a good thing. Yeah, the second main mower. Bevany is going on right now, it can end at any moment. We don't have to actually kill all the balloons, we just have to kill the last balloon of 70. But the issue is balloons after 70 is going to cause this issue. Oh, there's so many balloons. Please. When does 70 end? Where was the end of that? What was the last balloon of 70? Where was it? A lot of those balloons that came in that they killed me were the ones after. Those were the balloons after 70 that killed me. Not the round 70 balloons. When I press continue, it's going to be extremely easy. Because it's going to literally start off with just around 70 ones and it's going to be killed immediately. Like us make a V go far. Let's watch how quickly this one goes.
How fucking long is 70? How fucking long is it? Spike would not make a Vigo farm there, because I didn't use the spikes for so long. I wasn't killed by Vigo, I was killed by all the random blooms. There's just too many blooms here. Why? Why was it so easy now? See? It, it just... It feels like it's completely fucking random sometimes. And yeah, I remember there was this one uh, YouTuber that plays balloons that says, Hey, if you feel like you're close to winning a round, just restart it and do the exact same thing over and over, and eventually you'll win it. Uh, because the game isn't exactly perfect. There is a random chance for a lot of things. And yeah, that... That one... Was an example of that, in my opinion. That was just an RNG issue. <sighs> okay, but we finished Island 4. 88 monkey money's there. I had to press continue two more times. I'm saying this right now, I am using stuff for Island 5. But let's go to Island 5 now. I just want to get this one over. Look with workshop. Path see you go right here. You target strong. And I'm just grabbing a fucking tier 4. I don't want middle path for up here. There's no Moab up here. What I need is bottom path and top path. Use this to earn extra money, I guess. I'm not looking for this one. I am half tempted to just use a... I would just use a tier 4 spike factory. I'm half tempted to go for something even higher than that. Go for a tier 4 super monkey maybe. Essentially what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is completely pop every single Moab class balloon while it's on this uh, blue slide. Maybe use an Insta. I have a duplicate up. I have a lot. I have literally 111 uh, Insta monkey, super monkeys. And if I'm talking about just the Tier 4 Super Monkeys. I have a lot of duplicates of those. So I can just use one of those whenever I want. Like literally, of the pathing that's allowed, 
I have just talking to tier four of the path that's left. There's only about bottom path. One, two, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten tier four super monkey instant monkeys of the one path that's allowed that I could just use at any point. Again, I have so many of them. I'll be able to get more of them before the next. Uh, before running out of these. When it comes to the collection event. I wish I could use a banana phone just so it can automatically pick up the bloom trap for me. My goal is to get a perma spike this time. We're going to round 75. I need a tier 5. And perma spike sounds like a very good one. Blue trap will get me there. Hopefully. It's only option I have for no, actually it's one of two options I have for earning money. I could do middle path of uh, Helipilot as well. Oh, I have 9,000 saved up for it. Will I be able to get... It? Would I be able to get Perma Spike before round 50? Will Pathfinder in the Spike Factory be enough to deal with some, the first Morab? I hope so. Yes, it is. Good. Okay, 32,400 is how much I have to save up. Yeah, I could have gotten this a bit better if I moved the engineer more to the left. I do know that. He wouldn't pop nearly as many balloons by himself, but would be getting them into balloon chop first. One thousand left. There we go, we got Thomas fight. I'm saying too smart only because I do not want them going up here. The shop says they hate this tap or this map is a burning passion. Understandable. Yeah, I don't like use or playing this one that often either. I don't have a single good strategy for this map at all.
I am going to go for a ice cold pail key as well. Because fuck it. Yep, that's what I'm going for right now, is trying to get some so the spike back to compile. So I do need to save up for it. Thirty thousand seven hundred is how much I have to save up. Uh, that's expensive. More ice. That's a good idea, but at the same time, I feel like I really need it to be the tier five. And anything that delays it from being a tier five is gonna hurt us. We will agree to. Doesn't seem like we're an issue yet, so. Pretty much we're good up to 70, I think. It's a setup. If not a bit later than that. The bot, uh, a promise spike is very good. And we have had Fuzzy to help. Also, the ice monkey said, Hell, you blow back? Actually, I'm not going with the helipad this. Awesome. I was thinking of doing middle pass helipilot just so I can earn extra money with it. I decided not to go with that. Just because of the risk of a regal farm which would 100% kill me here. Yeah, 32,400. I was doing that just to have this delay that we're doing right now. Thirty-two thousand already. How much is it? Four hundred. There you go, ice cold pail. Now is ice cold pail as well. Oh, we're good. Oh. Hello, Spectalium. How are you doing today? Finally got the game. Congrats. What else do I want to get down? Good First thought is more blue. Okay. Relentless glue mixed with ice cold pail. And then Pat Putty, this is an extreme stopping point for Moab. Let's just make it more. 
So we have to track extensions and we need to track back with the potato fly at any time. There we go. Oh, holy shit. This Odyssey was... More difficult than I expected. Actually, no, no, it looked fucking difficult at the beginning. I was thinking that. But it was more painful than I expected. Half cash? We could have actually beaten without any fuck-ups if I was being less greedy at first. Uh, Apocalypse? I can't think of a way that would have helped us with that. We, we were screwed there. In Workshop, we managed to not lose, but we had to use a Ince Monkey. But with that being said, Tier 4 Bottom Path Ince Monkey isn't the best popping power, so we did end up doing most of that work with our actual strategy. Essentially, we just had a buffer at the back. Uh, early on. We could have went, if we removed the amount of money we did save with that. Eh, I do think it, it was important that we had that though. We wouldn't have, I don't know if we would have beaten it as easily or even if we would have beaten with how to continue if we didn't use it in Smokey's arm. But heck, only one in Smokey's arm. <sighs> Okay, so we finished Island 5, which is a, gave us 176 monkey money. Not worth it in the slightest for that. And we've completed the Odyssey of Slow Down There. Overall time, 1 hour 44 minutes and 6 seconds. Yeah, that one did take a while. Lives remaining 50? Nah. Nah. We used them. We used up all our lives. Pop count, cash generated, mode pop, abilities used, all that stuff doesn't matter there. We use Path Fuzzy for four of the five uh, islands. This is a very rare thing. Usually I use the hero on all five islands. So it's very rare for me to have it less than that. And yeah, the only powers that seems like I use them nearly every time was the Druid, the Spike Factory, and the Glue Gunner. Glue Gunner is free, so that explains that. Yeah, we use... Some cash drops. I did plan on actually using some Super Monkey Stone, but when I tried to grab them, I ended up dying. So, didn't end up getting to use those. And our reward for it. 400 Monkey Money, which we used way more than that just to beat this. Uh, a 240 Insta Monkey, which we used a, a better tier 4 in my opinion to get this. So, that was worth it. But the 50 trophies, that's actually the thing that I need the most, and that's only thing that actually made this worse, but Lead says uh hotkeys would have saved me. I'm not gonna do hotkeys. No. Okay, that's the end of this recording. Uh hope you enjoyed uh that Odyssey. Uh if thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know. And, well, I guess the next time, see ya.